Good morning, YouTubers. How you doing? Uh, there's not much going on here uh, today. Today is Sunday, uh, raining again, so we again cannot go to Jewett City. However, yesterday, <clears throat> there's a local thrift store in my area that Tommy and I went to, and we've gone to it before. Uh, his prices are fairly high for the stuff he has. However, um, I got this here, Sony, uh, I believe it's a DCR TRV 520, TRV 520, um, digital 8 camcorder. And the reason I got it is for only one reason, and that is <clears throat> to digitize. 8 millimeter videotape. This is an 8 millimeter videotape, as you probably know. Now, you have seen me digitize, like in New Hampshire, tapes and so forth that I made, and the wrestling, they're all done on 8 millimeter videotape. This is a 8 millimeter analog videotape. This camcorder will play the analog and the digital 8mm videotape, which I do not own. I have always wanted a high 8 digital 8mm camcorder because this camcorder has Firewire out, which will directly copy these tapes into the computer without having to have the 8mm VCR which I've showed you going through the VidBox converter that I also showed you on another video and then going into the Sony TRV-17 audio video input and then coming out Firewire into the computer. So you got all these other steps. This way you put this tape in here and Firewire on the other side which I'm going to show you can be connected directly to your computer and in my case, I have Pinnacle Studio 12, which works quite well as capturing. It crashes for doing video editing, though I don't use it. Um, Sony Movie Studio 13 doesn't seem to be too user-friendly for DV capture. I find Sony to be, uh, the Pinnacle to be much more user-friendly. Now, before I show you the cam camcorder here, yeah, I can't even talk. Before I show you the camcorder, uh, it came with two batteries. Uh, this battery is dead. I had it on the char on the camera for approximately three hours, and it was very hot. I put a voltmeter in here, and I'm getting a half a volt. Okay. However, it came with two batteries. There's one that's on there on charge now. It works very good. It is a NP F like in Frank 330. That's the number of the battery that this camcorder takes. So this battery is no good, but it came with two batteries, and this battery is on here right now. It's a small battery. You might be able to see it with all the straps and everything in the way. And as you can probably see, I think you can. It's being charged up.
So I ran this camera and did some tests and some captures from this tape that I have here, which is really junk on here. The silly stuff that I did, I would never put on YouTube. Uh, these are some more silliness that I've done for my cousins years ago. The red dot, as I told you, um, means that it's on DVD. And these silly things have also been sent to my cousin years and years ago when they lived down in Florida and transferred to VHS tapes for them to watch on their VCR. So... I don't really need this material, but there is a couple of things on here that I do want to save and transfer over. So this worked very well as Capture in Pinnacle. Uh, and um, normally I wouldn't buy a big clunky camcorder like this. To think years ago I've carried cameras around that were bigger than this. As I said, I carried uh, full-size VHS cameras with... Uh, over-the-shoulder VCR, portable VHS VCR, back in the 90s. So, you know, when we graduated down to these things, or gone up to these things, <laughs> uh, these are small, you know. And um, the, from what I understand, the Digital 8 DB... Uh, it's, um, Handycam Digital, Handycam, um, Digital 8, I guess you'd call it, Hi 8, which will play both tapes. Now, my first camcorder that was 8 millimeter was a Sony TRV V5 which is only a 5x zoom it was kind of a boxy looking camcorder and I got a lot of use out of that but a lot of these tapes were done on that camera okay and I believe that was 95. The recordings that are on here are 1997. Okay. Uh, including a small clip of my wife videoing me snowblowing with a brand new snowblower in 1997. Um, which I may put on YouTube here. Right now I'm just making a show and tell video today. Uh, this is Sunday morning. You could probably hear the rain on the roof lightly. Nothing new. We don't think we're ever going to get to Jewett City uh, this year, but the turnouts are, let's face it, piss poor up there anyways. Last weekend, um, Zagre Farms uh, had an event Saturday and Sunday, but we got rainbow days. Uh, some of the days, and it was very, very hot. I don't go anywhere when it's hot and humid. I can't take the heat. None of us can. So, um, I guess the show went on anyways, but uh, not for me. Um, but Zagre Farms will have another event in the fall, and hopefully we'll be able to get there, but I'm looking forward to the Brooklyn and the Woodstock Fair uh, in uh, uh, late August and early September. But anyways, let's get back on the subject here. Um, right now we got 149 minutes into the battery. It's still being charged, but what I did last night, I did some capture. I ran this thing for about a half an hour on the battery. I did not bring the power back pack in. This is the power pack, the Sony. Um, adapter for charging. It came with it. Two batteries, uh, audio video uh, cable, and so forth. And we're going to let the battery charge so that maybe I can bring it in without having to bring the power pack in because I have to reach under my desk to plug it in and it's crowded in there. Alright, 
I know I'm chat chattering here, but you know, and it came with this remote, but this is wrong. <laughs> this remote is a Nortec security. It's not, <laughs> it's not the remote for this, but it came in the bag. I've got the camera bag on the floor. It's a big, one of them big uh, camera bags. Uh, so I have no idea what it is. It's got channel 1 and channel 2 and scan. Three buttons here, but as I said, this is not for this camcorder. Um, somewhere around I do have a remote control that works on the Sony 8mm uh, VCR that I showed you that I did all my transfers on, uh, which also works on these cameras here. Okay, so <laughs> we'll probably donate this to the uh, thrift shop. I don't no idea what it goes to. Who knows? Maybe somebody out there might know. I save things like this. You never know. You might find what this goes to someday. Maybe not. Okay. So, all right. Let me uh, show you. It's still plugged in. Um, it's been years since I used one of these things. Now, what you do is... If you ever own one, and I was watching YouTube videos on these, and one of the viewers didn't know how to get this tape out of here. And I got the manual. I downloaded the manual on this, like I do on everything I pick up, if I can get it. Uh, there's a little blue button right here. You just give it a push. And there you go. So... You insert your tape, and it specifies in the book, do not force this closed, do not push it, except where it says push, right here. You just push it like that, and let it do its thing. Okay, and then it's closed. In here, is a 4 megabyte memory stick. Four megabytes. Not, I don't know if this is upside down, I can't see that. Four megabytes, folks. Not gigabytes. For photos. It had some photos on it which I stuck in my computer and deleted them. Quality is pretty, pretty poor, but it's there, okay? Alright, so the cover's closed. It has a black and white eyepiece, eye viewer, not color. And Let me try to zoom in here. The lighting isn't that good. This is your CR2025, I believe, uh, battery, memory battery. You just flip that open, it's right in there. Alright, everything works perfectly on this thing, even the recording. Um, on this tape I just showed you, which I put in here, let me get this backed out here. As I started to say, everything works perfectly in this camcorder. Um, it even records, I recorded on this tape because there's a lot of nonsense on this tape, okay? stupid stuff that I would never put on video because you got to remember um, when I was making some of these things my cousins had VCRs they didn't have any of this stuff here to play these tapes on so I had to transfer stuff from the 8 millimeter video onto a VHS tape and then I'd mail it down to Florida because they were at that time they were living in Florida right now they're living up here unfortunately my cousins died 
um, but they, when their kids were younger, they loved these things. So that a lot of these silly things that I did was really ridiculous. And like I say, I would never show it. You saw me when I was horsing around with the guitar. Well, some of these things are even worse than that. So <laughs> I would never, never put them on. But however, there are some things. One little clip in here is Tommy when he was singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game with his mom that I want to transfer over to uh, digital. And a few other things, including uh, 1997 when my shed was all metal and so forth, and uh, and so on. So what I'm going to do here, and other things on here, um, I played this for a long time on the battery. The battery holds up really well. Uh, it's strange that this is the same battery here, but it will not take a charge at all. I even tried to put, uh, it's a 7.2 volt battery, um, and I tried to, it, the charger puts out 8.4 volts, so I I set my power supply to uh, 8.3, okay, and put the probes in, held it there for about a minute to see if it would take a charge, and went up to about a volt and a half after I took the leads out, and it quickly dropped right down to a half a volt. So this battery will not take a charge. These are supposed to be um, one of these... Uh, Info lithium type of batteries uh, by Sony, and um, I figured if I force charged it through here, and I've done that on other batteries in the past, not necessarily necessarily the lithium info type batteries, but the um, uh, lithium ion batteries, uh, or the, or not the NiCads, but the uh, um, lithium ion I guess and sometimes they recover and sometimes they don't but before I throw this in the recycle I will uh, play around with this again what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this on and I got to get it up here and get my face up on it we're going down okay as you can probably see maybe you can yeah you can see the display here all right now there's a delay on this here um, when you're recording so let me uh, try to zoom in on let me just rewind this a little bit here Uh, display, yeah, okay, I, in the bedroom it's very hard for me to see this here, um, and I couldn't get the display to come on because I couldn't see what the hell I was doing, I don't have good lighting in the bedroom, that's why I'm doing it out here in the shop, alright, let me, uh, let me try to zoom in on that. Okay, let's play this. This has got the volumes all the way up on it. It's got a volume control right here. Okay, it's all the way up. Let's play it. I was just showing my shed stuff I had in there. Nothing important. This stuff is not important here. But they've been there, you know, in this shed before I redone it. I had it all thrown up on the floor here for a couple of years now, and I still use it, so I guess it didn't hurt it too much. Now this is playing off of a little speaker in the side of the camcorder over here. This is my way of keeping it secure here. Put a padlock on it, chain down to the floor. This is when the shed was metal. Before I put the wood on the sides, and I had uh, light sheet metal doors and cardboard inside. That's the way they came. 
So I used to chain my uh, snowblower down. I never had any problems with anybody around here, but... That's our cat, Tigress. She lived to be 18 years old. That's when she first started coming around. That's an outside cat. How I used to lock the shed with a block of wood and a turnbuckle. It's very flimsy. Very anybody can get into it. I mean, you put a lock on here, it's stupid. You know, you do is pull these back to sheet metal with cardboard behind it. This is why I chained it inside. So I made this up uh, about a month ago so that uh, we can go up and down with the snowblower a lot easier. How about a game of. Okay, Tommy's going to sing, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Okay, Tom? Okay. All right. Uh, th that's some of the stuff I'm going to put on um, on video here. Um. Manual autofocus. <sighs> Tell you the truth, I can't even see it in the viewfinder where I am here. I have to use my finger. I guess this is where you... All right, there's a switch there. I don't know how well you can see that. Looking in the viewfinder in the camera, it looks very, very dark to me. Uh, but this is the... Um, <sighs> twisting sideways. This is the focus ring right here. You take the lens cap off, of course. And this is the focus ring. For manual focus. Um, this also has night shot. And I tried it last night. On the battery, I walked around the yard. It has a um, infrared light which shoots out quite a distance, so it's pretty good. The typical green, hard to see type of video. A uh, super night shot seems to do better, but I it seems to knock the frame rate down to like 15 frames a second or maybe even 10 frames a second to give a longer exposure. But it's quite good. Um, but pretty useless for um, anything important. I mean, maybe for a, a nocturnal animal or something, it would be good, you know, to see uh, in from a distance, safe distance, like if there's a skunk out there or something. We've had them. Um, so the battery's on charge. We're going to turn this back off. Um really hard to show you here. All right, if you look here, well, fingers will do, but they were invented before pointers. Um, nice if I get my glasses, but I can't find my glasses. Uh, they're all caught underneath the wires. Hang on a minute. Okay, uh, you got the VTR, VCR, videotape recorder, VTR. Then you've got the off, which is, which is the position right here in the middle. And then you've got memory and camera. Uh, memory is the memory stick, which is under this cover, which is right there. It's the memory stick right there. And um, the battery is still charging.
and when it's done it'll say full now when I had this bad battery on here and I let it charge for several hours it said full but as soon as I unplugged it, the, uh, the camera was dead. It wouldn't come on. So, uh, and the battery was very, very warm. I mean, normally batteries get a little warm when they're being charged and fully charged. But this was almost hot to the touch. So, uh, I don't dare, you know, lithium-ion batteries, you got to be careful. Um, you know, even though they're being charged in the camera, designed to charge them in the camera in this case, uh, nonetheless, if you've got a defective battery, you run the risk of having a fire or a damage in the camcorder or both. So um, I decided to not use it. And this one here runs just barely lukewarm. You can not even hardly that when it's being uh, fully charged. Um, the viewfinder, well, there's nothing special about that. It's black and white. So, what I want to do here before we close this video out, uh, we got to take the cover off here so I can. Sorry about the uneasy video here. Um, I'm working under a, I'm a wicked angle here, as always, when I'm trying to do these things. Um, let me get my pen here. Make a little better point. It is the um, there's the firewire, or what they call the eye link. But it's a uh, it's a fire wire. Um, you can <coughs> here's a microphone input, powered mic input, which means, um, from what I understand, um, you probably couldn't use a regular microphone. It probably has to be a condenser mic, uh, which would require the five volts to power it. That, from what I understand. So uh, I don't think you can just plug a dynamic mic into this. Uh, dynamic mics are, are not uh, a powered mic. Where condenser mics need the 5 volts. So I think you have to have a, a, a condenser. In other words, a, like a computer mic uh, that would plug into an 8th inch stereo jack on your computer. Uh, same thing. So anyways, and in your headphones, your S-Video, um, I can't read that, but you can probably. So the jack on the bottom, as I said, is um, my mind went blank, FireWire. And so that and I got the FireWire cable or hooked up to my desktop. Uh, the shuttle does not have FireWire, so all capturing has to be done in the Windows 7 desktop, which is not a problem. And then, um, then I can take it the HD video, like I'm making here on this JVC camera MTS file, and put it in the shuttle. And um, do the editing there. All right, so we've got um, 164 minutes on the battery. It's still being charged. So I think I've covered everything. Not a very exciting video. A video nonetheless. So, so there's going to be some stuff on this tape that I'm going to transfer over to digital. It's not necessarily going to go on YouTube, but if I find something on here that's worth it, I'll put it on there. Um, if not, well, I just wanted to show you that. So, this was $10, along with the big case, in good shape. And, uh, K 
came with the video cable. This turned to be, this is supposed to be red, but it's orange. Orange and um, yellow. So, that's strange. Where's the white? The camera is, um, get that out of here. The camera has a stereo mic on it, right here. Oh, who knows, this might not be the right cable. This has three bands. So, this is probably an audio cable. But this, yellow usually means video. So I'm not quite sure if this is the right cable or not. It came with the camera. Usually they come with three. So there'd be an extra band on here. One would be your left channel, the other would be your right channel, and the last one would be your yellow video. But regardless, that's the story there, folks. I'm going to throw this video together. I'm going to let this battery charge in the shop. And being that it's a rainy day today, oh, rainy day woman. I can't sing. You know that. Uh, <laughs> um, might as well do video. Normally, on a Saturday and a Sunday, I'm usually out in the morning. I'm busy going either, well, there hasn't been any yard sale. Yesterday was a, a beautiful day. Not one damn yard sale. Not one. Um, not, no rain, nothing. It was an excellent day yesterday, and I went all over. I must have went about 15 miles all around my area. Nothing. As a matter of fact, there was a sign that was up there Friday. Today's Sunday now. Up there Friday that said yard sale Saturday. Okay, we went. I went down the road with Tommy because I'm usually watching the uh, potholes in the road. And I say, you look out for the signs. I got to watch these potholes and manhole covers that drop down about an inch. I don't like driving over stuff like that. So anyways, we couldn't find it. Okay. And uh, a couple of times I went down. Now the road is not far out of the way where I live. So it was not a problem. So I said, the hell with this. So I went out to get my wife's coffee this morning, and I pulled over to the side. There was hardly any traffic on the road this morning, Sunday morning. And I ripped the damn sign down and threw them away on the corner. There was two of them on the corner of the road going to where that yard sale supposedly is. There's nothing more aggravating than wild goose chases. When somebody puts a sign up, it had yesterday's date on it, and it was a Saturday, beautiful weather, no yard sale. Now, this had happened before in that same area. So these bimbos that put these signs up there are too lazy to take them down if there isn't going to be a yard sale. We drove up and down. My son spotted the number of the house. There's nothing going on there. So I decided to rip the damn thing down. You know, save somebody else from a wild goose chase. Of course, it's raining today, and there won't be any yard sales anyways. <laughs> All right, so, no Jewett City today. So, this, you can say, is my Jewett City find, even though I didn't get it out of your Jewett City. But to, like I say, and we're going to close, I know I flap a lot, but these days that's about all I can do. This will enable me to make an easier transfer of the 8mm videotapes, of which I might have one or two more that may have stuff on them that I may want to put on YouTube. I don't know. But it would save me the extra step of having to go through Oasis and the... Uh, Vidbox... And the sound, I uh, can't get sound in the uh, Oasis, 
it just don't work so uh, in spite of what people tell me it don't work so we're not going to go into that anymore this does work okay now if I have to copy a VHS tape to the um, computer if I do if I find one which I haven't been looking because they're in a different area uh, I'll simply use the pass-through method of the camcorder and out the firewire and that way I'll have sound okay so either way I'll be all set so that's the story folks I wasn't going to make a video uh, yesterday I said I'm not making no video about this who wants to see this you know but there are videos on old technology and uh, yes they're heavy when my arthritic arthritic wrist and thumb joint it's a little painful carrying it sometimes but it's not something I'm going to be taking out and doing videos with it is something that I'm going to use to transfer videos to the computer and with that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and mice and rats and snakes and lizards and uh, worms and whatever else is out there <laughs> gotta be silly you know thank you very much for watching I appreciate it and we'll see if I can come up with some more videos for you in the near future until we meet again have a good day everybody thanks again bye bye